Welcome. This is All I Maths TV. Yeah, we learn mathematics every day. And today we're going to look at uh, the rules of SOD. But before we go into uh, the rules of SOD, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. Okay, so we take the first rule of SOD. If you have rule one, rule number one, if you have root a plus root a okay this is the addition rule of sod okay so long the number you have inside the square root symbol are the same then dix will give us two root a okay this will only work when the quantities inside are the same okay so example for example if you have example if you have something like root 3 plus root 3 dx will give us 2 root 3 why is it so because here we have invisible one here we have invisible one so when you add the two together dx is just the symbol to it so it gives you 2 root Three. very easy okay so we go to rule number two it's similar to the same additional rule but if you have a plus root b root a plus root b because they are carrying different identity different numbers okay so you can only interchange the positions so this will turn give you root b plus root a you cannot add these two okay you can only change their position example to this an example to this rule if you have something like root 2 plus root 7 you cannot add these two because what we have inside are different so we can only change the position so we have here root 7 plus root 2 that's all this is addition this is also addition but the only difference is that the entities they are the same what we have inside they are the same in the first place and so you can add them then you take only one of the quantity inside why dx you cannot add you can only change the positions so that leads us to the next one which is the multiplication rule we have if we have root a times root a dx will give us root a times a and this will turn give us root a to the power of 2. now your square root sign could probably be expressed as a to the power of 2 or to the power of 1 all over 2 and so these two can cancel out these two okay according to the law of indices it said we should multiply the powers when a quantity is raised to power and further raised to another power then multiply the power and so dx will now it all give herbs a to the power of two times one all over two this all over one okay so dx two we go with this two and at the end we end up having a so root a times root a will automatically give us a simple okay so let's look at um an example to this we have something like this if you have root 5 times root 5 this will automatically give us root 25 and root 25 is same thing as 5. Very easy. Okay. So that from there will take us to the division law, which is number 4. Number 4. If you have root A all over B, we can split this to give us here root A all over root B very easy 
Let's take an example to this. An example, if you have something of this kind, if you have root um, 2 all over 3, this is the same thing as root 2 all over root 3. Easy. Okay, these rules are very simple. It's just a matter of learning there. Okay, know them so that at each point in time, you know when to apply them. Okay, so this takes us to another one. That if you have, or if you have root, root a, b, a, b, you can split this to give us here root a times root b. This is similar to root number three. Okay, root three. This is similar to root three. But here we have different quantities. Okay. So long as multiplication, you can multiply any of them together. In other words, if you have two different roots, you can multiply them. Example, if you have um, root, let's say uh, 12, root 12, we can split this to give us 4, times 3 and we can also come to this root to give us here root 4 times root 3 and we know root 4 is 2 so give us here 2 root 3 this is an example to this rule another rule again or another thing we're going to look at here uh, I don't call it a rule but let me just include it here the conjugate conjugate of a sword let me put it here Conjugate, conjugate of a sword. What does it say? It says that if you have a sword of this kind, 2 minus root uh, 5, what would be the conjugate of this? The conjugate of this is going to give us 2 plus root 5. Here we have a minus sign. Then here it turns to plus. So 2 plus root 5 is the conjugate of 2 minus root 5. Okay, so these are some of the few rules we uh, shall be looking at or working with in our uh, sword challenges. Okay, so do well to subscribe as we uh, dive into uh, much challenges under uh, sword. Okay.